Welcome back to Sexified Skyrim Winches Gone Wild. Also known as Sexy Sophia the Succubus. I love this outfit. And look at her tail. This, She's got a tail. And it's a tail that gives her seven armor. Somehow. Awesome. Hey, right, come on, Sophia. Oh! The last time we headed out, we were going to go meet Farkas at Dustman's Cairn. It didn't work out well for us. Uh, for one main reason. I was following the wrong map marker. I was heading towards Madron <laughs> over near Windhelm. So, uh, yeah. We ended up going the opposite direction and getting whacked. So, uh, this time I think what we're going to do is remove every other map marker than the one that we need. We'll just head towards Farkas. And the compass. Oh, I still got it like that. Let me also set one other thing. In mod configuration for the immersive HUD, you can do that. Now it'll just toggle on. And I can leave it on. There we go. We'll just leave it on while we're traveling overland, and I can turn it off whenever I feel like. And I don't have to hold the button down. So. All right, off we go. And it's not far away. I don't think we'll encounter anything on the way. Except for maybe some of those revelers. Oh, that reminds me. Yeah, um, we need to pick up a bottle of hunting brew mead. Those revelers that you peri <coughs> excuse me, periodically encounter wandering around. They're usually on roads, actually, but um, there's these three revelers, and if they, if you encounter them, they'll offer to have a drink with you. If you have a bottle of hunting brew mead, uh, you can give that to them, and they'll be all happy and give you, I think it's a unique item. I forget what effect it's got on it, but it's a magical item, and if I'm not mistaken, it's the only way you can get it, so... I mean, other than killing them, which, you know, doesn't seem right. They're just partying. So, yeah. I want to make sure that I grab a bottle of that uh, first chance I get. I'll probably forget, frankly. Got some wolves down there. We don't need to worry about them. Mud crabs. Not part of the mission plan. All right. Here's Dustman's care. It's what's confusing me is the map marker shows Farkas inside the ruins. I thought he was going to be waiting for me outside. So. Yeah, I don't know why. And... Yeah. Is he inside already? Huh. Okay, well, yeah. Clearly the map marker is pointing me towards that. Oh, grab the hanging moss. Don't think I have gathered any of that before. Oh, there's Farkas! He is outside. Uh, so I don't need... You're just going to join me when I get in the area, huh? All right. All righty. Come, Sophia. Let's head on in. I don't remember anything about this particular dungeon. Looks like someone's been digging here, and recently. Tread lightly. Okay, so sneak would be in order, I guess. Don't worry about that shortly.
I would be pretty annoyed too if I looked like the Draugr. I hope I don't die and end up looking like one of them. That would be my worst nightmare. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's got such great dialogue. Oh, good, good. Um, another book. Yeah, I had been wanting to test this, so come here, Sophia. Let's... Yes, I'm listening. All right, I'm going to have you do something for me. Okay. Oh, it says read, but I'm pretty sure she's going to pick it up. Oh, that's not E. That's E. Let's switch weapons. Oh, yeah, great. She grabbed it. Fantastic. So that's going to be in her inventory, and I can just take it off her and read it at my leisure. And uh, that way I'm not wasting valuable skill books, you know, taking the points when I'm, my scores are like in the teens or 20s. Yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, so let's put away the weapons for now. play the looting game. Is that everything? Well, I'm going to miss a bunch of loot in here. I don't really care. It's not like there's a shortage of loot in Skyrim. Be careful around the burial stones. I don't want to haul you back to your orbit. Nope. <laughs> Get in there. Whoa. That's it? That's all you've got? What? They're already spellcasters? I'm only level four. Guys, attack that thing. What the hell? What are you doing? Farkas, wake up. Oh, jeez. Uh, are you going to let me take care of a restless? I don't want to fight a restless. Do your worst, princess. It is doing its worst. It's going to kill you, you moron. Sophia. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. This should be good. Somebody attack it. You don't look so tough to me. Finally. Oh, you freaks. You're just making sure that I'm going to participate? Okay, yeah, these guys are going to drop all this junk. Um, I know some of it can be smelted down with the mods I'm running you can smelt down a lot of this stuff and uh, if I'm not mistaken things like um, I don't know if it's the battle axe I'll take it all for now I think the the ancient Nord battle axe can be smelted down for like four silver uh, not silver uh, four steel ingots which is good I mean if you got the carry capacity I just I don't think all of the stuff can be smelted down and I oh what is this a lich restless draugr lich really I don't get why people worship the gods what have they ever done for us mere mortals nothing I prayed for money free booze and more free booze and did I get it no <laughs> <laughs> Instead, I got a hangover and a huge hole in my pocket where my money used to be. <laughs> oh, Sophia, I just love you to death. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab a bunch of that stuff. We'll probably offload things onto Sophia here shortly, but. I do want to have a sampling at least uh, Get it. Get it. and see what can be. Smelted. What are you yelling about? I want to see what can be smelted down for us. Oh, Farkas, you are such a freak. Oh, okay. There is somebody there. Is it time to go into sneak? Maybe. You guys are blocking the door. Come on. Mm. All this stuff is going to weigh me down super fast. Yeah, I'm a bit torn.
torn. On the one hand, I do want to get the loot. I mean, we need the money to hire Janassa. Um, this is kind of our first dungeon crawl. But I don't want to spend a huge amount of time just playing the looting game. Okay, let's go into sneak. I have a feeling we're going to have some Draugr that are going to start waking up on us. Spiders in here. Yeah, try not to be too hard on me if I just, like, obliviously walk past a chest or something. <laughs> because, undoubtedly, I will. I'm not... I'm not gonna pay, like, you know, real close attention Old to North every... Sacrifice place. What? Be careful around here. Let's look for a way to open the bars. Be careful. You just ran in headlong. I'll look down on on everything from above. You guys go ahead. Hmm, nothing. Okay. So, something tells me that while well, he says he'll look for a way to open the bars, he's going to wait for me to find a way to open the bars, isn't he? Sneaking is so much fun. The thrill of almost getting caught is more addictive than skooma. All oh, right. Yeah, now is not the time for talking. <laughs> hmm. Arcane Enchanter. I don't think I need to use it at the moment. All right. What have we got? We got a uh, suspicious looking lever. Guess they're all suspicious looking. This Skyrim, after all. Alright. Uh, what? Okay, yeah, something tells me that gate is gonna just drop down as soon as I activate this lever. And it does, of course. So I'm locked in here, and Sophia and Farkas are out there. Fantastic, and of course now I can't look what open you it. Got yourself into. No yeah. worries, just sit tight. I'll find the release. All right. What was that? Oh yeah. It's time to die, dog. We knew you'd be coming here. Your mistake, companion. Which one is that? Doesn't matter. He wears that armor. He dies. Killing you will make for an excellent story. None of you will be alive to tell it. And there we go. Yes. The big reveal. He turns into a werewolf and slaughters all these guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, you need to do that more often. That is crazy. I hope I didn't scare you. Uh, no. You didn't scare me. It's a blessing given to some of us. We can be like wild beasts fearsome and you're gonna make me a werewolf oh no only the circle have the beast blood prove your honor to be a companion eyes on the prey not the horizon we should keep moving still the Draugr to worry about gotcha okay so interesting these silver hand are gonna have silver weapons and uh, interestingly they're carrying things like hawk feathers mud crab chitin potions of cure disease uh, now hawk feathers and mud crab chitin make potions of cure disease hmm. they think 
they can cure lycanthropy with a cure disease potion. So they carry around the uh, components to make it. See, more hawk feathers. I mean, you don't find those on, on many enemies. I think the programmers did that on purpose. I mean, oh my god, I'm already encumbered. Okay, well, Sophia. Once it actually wasn't me that knocked something over. <laughs> Sophia. Do you have something to say? Yes, here. We'll go into your storage. Huh, you're no fun. I know. I think we're gonna just load up her storage with all of my. Let's see, I'm carrying out firewood and uh, all these ingots. That's not. Uh, and five mammoth tusks, really? I've got to clear this stuff out. Give me that scroll and all of this armor stuff. I don't know how much her storage capacity is, but that looks like a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep loading her up. Uh, poacher's axe. I can disenchant that. It's a silly... That's a silly enchantment. I don't ever really need that, but... Interesting item. Alright, you just carry all this junk. That, yeah, that'll help greatly. I'm glad that's sorted. Me too. Alright, so now I can. Hmm. Wolf. Dea. De. 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 I can't pronounce that. Interesting. Okay, so now this way's open, and this lever stuck. Oh, it's the lever he, yeah, when he ran over here, he must have flipped that to let me out. Okay, got it. Let's, let's see about more sne- oh, okay, yeah, you guys, everybody panic! Okay, maybe not panic. I'll panic. You guys go fight. You'll pay for that. Yeah, at some point I'm gonna have to start worrying about like magic resists and my defensibility. Uh, you know, working on some heavy arm, heavy armor skills and whatnot. I don't want to be made of tissue paper all the time. Okay, what? Wait a minute. Some of these should wake up. What was that? Why aren't they waking up? Oh, we've got Silver Hand outside. Oh, oh crap. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Why aren't these Draugr waking up? Are they not? Are these guys not like ones that would wake up? It is. I I'm showing detected periodically. What the no! strange. <laughs> okay. I, I'm not complaining. That's awesome. I can just wipe out the ancient skeleton berserker. Nice. What is happening? What? Okay, yeah, it's coming back to life. Fantastic. <laughs> That's great. Okay, yeah, it's another thing. I think it's part of immersive creatures. <laughs> I totally forgot. Sometimes the undead will not stay dead even after you kill them for the second time. I, it's weird. Okay. I 
hope you have a backup plan if we get caught. Uh, I do. I will scream like a little girl and you run at them. <laughs> that, but we'll take the silver. I thought there was another one over here that was like the wake up type. No, not. Okay. Rourke, you're bumbling around. Let's just move on. There's lots more in here, I'm sure. Free coin purses. Great. Uh, did you guys chase a silver hand in here or something? All this linen wrap. I'm not sure if it's part of the mod pack I'm still running, but I know linen wraps could be used to make torches. Maybe something else as well. I'm not sure, but I'll have to check that. If I think about it, I'll grab some and test it. They're kind of heavy. I mean, three pounds a piece. Seems silly. I mean, when you make a torch, the torch is, what, one pound? I take f firewood and linen wrap, maybe? I don't know. Something to check out, though. That's the first soul gem I've picked up. Maybe. Uh, somebody gonna pop out of here? going in circles or something. Ooh, master lock chest. Okay. Now I'm sure I'm going to break some picks on this, but I can open it. I can do this, despite having, like, no skill. Yeah, I'm a 16 lock pick. We can do this. Oh. Okay, oh, we are definitely in the right area. Alright. See, the key is, when you're doing this, watch the edge of the lock uh, mechanism thing. Um, so you can remember exactly where your pick was positioned and at that. I've gone a little too far. You see, I'm looking at that little dot. You see where my pick is in, uh, in the upper left-hand corner? That little rivet thing. And place my pick position there. Super close. And let's try it right about there. No. Alright, we've burned through six picks. Not... It's not like end of the world that we're breaking picks. I mean, I am getting lockpick skill from it. And there we go. Yeah. Excellent. Um, nothing great. A minor restoration. <laughs> okay, well... Master check. Uh, let's actually loot it, I suppose. All right, good. Worth picking the chest. Okay, where? Which direction are we going? Over here. 
I get lost very easily in these places. Uh, that's where we came from. Or is this where we came from? I can't remember. Grab all the stuff. Waking up. They should wake up. Wake up. What was that? Nice. Okay. We got to level up. I will keep that banked until we need it for an emergency heal. Oh, sneak is going up so fast. You know, I think it's because, if I'm not mistaken, sneak is, um, it like, your, your skill goes up based on enemies within proximity that might detect you. And they don't even have to actually be enemies, just like anybody that might detect you. And if I'm not mistaken, it's the effect stacks it's based off of each individual person or or creature that might detect you so you could potentially have like three or four or five or a dozen people that could potentially be uh, uh, detecting you and your sneak skill is going to be going up based on all of them combined like well I, i'm not explaining it very well but Basically, the more things that could detect you uh, while you're in sneak, the faster your sneak goes up. So. You're lucky I have company, so I can do unspeakable things to your corpse. <laughs> She's such a freak. I love her. Whoa, hey. Oh, see, now another one's waking up. Or resurrecting or whatever they're doing. Dude, no. no! Guys, get him. Oh, die, damn you. Yeah, you tell him, Farkas. aren't waking up they should I have I'm mean, tromping around in metal boots and my sneak skill is super low but it's all good from behind as in sneaking up on them of course sorry I just can't keep my mouth shut <laughs> I've heard people that have complained that you know Sophia's annoying and she talks too much and stuff but you know I just I can't I can't agree with that I think she's fascinating the voice actress is just wonderful and uh, you know she's everything's sexual innuendo with her and I like that too so hard to complain and her model is just gorgeous I mean, she's got the most beautiful face her body is splendid how can you complain about that Is 
she does tend to push into you, but that's not... That's not a Sophia thing. That's just a Skyrim thing. All companions do that. Alright. I think we got some silver hand running in here. Yeah. Three of them. Oh, an archer? Okay, yeah. This is the part where I scream like a little girl and you guys rush in and fight them. Oh, she's brutal. See, my plan is working. I mean, granted, I'm not getting a lot of heavy armor skill ups or block practice or anything, but, uh, you know, that, that can come later. Or n not. You know, maybe I'll engage a mud crab at some point and just, you know, I'll leave, leave Sophia safely behind somewhere and I'll just let a mud crab beat on me for a little bit. I mean, I'll do that off camera if I, if I grind up. But I don't know that I'm going to bother with that. You know, that's only if I had a, a character that I was really concerned about being super defensible and, and stuff like that. But that's not the purpose of this run. Okay, there's a trap. Silver hand. Right, I'll fight one. Here, I'll fight one. Sort of. Hey, what? Go, go get him. You don't have to take that from that archer. Alright. Well, for sure I'm going to end up with a lot of either silver ingots or just gold from selling this stuff. And I am going to do a lot of smithing. There's so much of this, the hide armor and things like that. Um, I'll end up selling a lot of this, but I think I'm going to like break it down into hide and whatnot. But we can worry about that next time. For now, I think that's good. And I will thank you all for joining us. I hope you enjoyed Surely the video. Surely the point of Draugr's is that they are dead. So why do they start randomly attacking people? Why would the dead not be dead? I don't... Oh, it makes my head hurt. <laughs> it makes my head hurt, too. That's just an amazing philosophical musing there, Sophia. But again, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.